Hey y'all, Beats here, Plumbing here, and today I'm with my 1998 Universal Rundle Athens. So yes, I did get this from OCC Plumbing and Restorations, and as you guys remember, um, uh, the handle it came with was really funny. It had a, like a nail or a screw through it, and when you flushed it, it moved the handle like that way and pulled the flapper and flushed it, which is pretty funny. And I know he showed it, like this is the tank he had on that one, like he, uh, like. Excuse me. <laughs> um, he uploaded a video and had a tank with like the nail through it, but also had a bowl that was broken. That was a different Athens than this one. But um, yeah, let's give this thing a flush. And actually, before I say anything um, or continue, I've noticed a few people say this is an Atlas. That's not an Athens. It's an Atlas. Well, the Athens. This is an Athens. And if uh, for those of you who don't know, an Athens is elongated and an Atlas is round. So this is obviously elongated. So it's an Athens. But um. I just want you guys to look at the quality control. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the entire back of the bowl sloped over to the left, so the tank is leaning. It's just, obviously, there's no way this thing went under inspection, because if it did, it definitely wouldn't pass. But, um, yeah, let's give you all a flush. Here we go. So this doesn't have that bad of a flush. Um, the bowl refills really quickly just because this thing out puts puts out way too much water, but um and it's making a mess. Let me put this back in. So um yeah. You guys remember I used to have an Athens, but um when we were moving and putting it in the box, uh, my dad lost grip and I actually slipped and broke the back of it. If you guys remember, I made a community post showing it, but um yeah, here's the logo. I don't know if I showed or not. If I did I'm just showing it again. It's a little bit faded, but it's nothing that bad. So, um, I've always liked open room toilets. I always thought the design on them were just really interesting. But, um, yeah, here's another flush. So, yeah, if any of y'all have any, um, test suggestions, just let me know. And soon I'll have a video of doing some tests. Here's the side of the bowl. Again, it just looks like any normal Athens um these aren't the original parts in the tank except for um the uh, I forgot the name already well um this I installed in here and this handle I put in here the flapper I put in there but the the flush valve yeah the flush valve was original but um and I don't think I have a tank lid for this either but here's another flush I've always really liked the flush on these toilets and it's always got that like really weird gurgling sound like almost any open room toilet. I don't know the reason for that, but for those of you who don't know how these work, like how all the water travels to the front, if you notice the back is super thin, like you can't fit your fingers, but as it goes to the front, it gets bigger. And as you can see, I can fit my entire hand in the front. So uh, the back being thin allows the water to kind of rush up to the towards the front. But also if you notice, got this major overhang that's extremely noticeable and what that does is allows the water to travel around the rim and flow towards the front obviously when it crashes in on from the left and right side on the middle it kind of has that stream that big water jet that gives it the front flusher in effect excuse me front flusher effect and sorry if you hear noise in the background the chickens are like chasing each other and being really obnoxious but um yeah here's another flush Yeah, overall, um, I like this toilet. You guys might not like it, but I do. Again, I've always liked the design, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and see y'all in the next one. Bye.